Welcome to Computer Tech TV. My name is Rick Arter. In this video, I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to install the fan that comes with the Thermalright Shaman. The fan included is a TY140 case fan. This also doubles as a CPU cooler fan because it has really good static pressure as well as being very quiet and having a really distinct color scheme. Everything that you see here is included. Got your 140 millimeter fan, which has 120 millimeter mounts. You have your wire brackets there that actually mount the fan to the heatsink. And then you have the Shaman heatsink here. Now, one thing to note if you have any of the thermal right coolers that have recently, recently been released with this similar design, uh, the installation is exactly the same. So, uh, the only thing that you're going to want to note here is they include some anti-vibration silicone strips there's four of them that's included with the Shaman I have two that are installed on the raised edges of the heatsink here and uh, I just installed those ahead of time just save some time so now let's move on I'll show you guys how to uh, install this fan Okay guys, to start this out, you're going to want to take your heat sink and then you want to install the anti-vibration strips, just as I did here. You can see it's right along the raised edge of the heat sink there. And then you're going to notice that they are, there are holes here. There's two on each side. Flip this around. You see there's the same holes there and there. And that is basically where you put your clips in. Here's your clip. Very identical. Now you want to note when you put this on, if you put the fan on here, you're gonna see that the way this mounts on, you want to have it like this so that when it clips in, it's gonna hold the outside of the fan down here. Now one thing that I can see on this design is is not optimal is you can only run you know like this is about the maximum width I haven't tested a 38 millimeter fan but I would say this is about the thickest fan maybe 32 at the most you can fit with these because they basically have to stretch over instead of uh, mounting here on the bottom where you could run you know any thickness fan or you could run a shroud but anyway that's not the main point here so we're going to do is take this, find your hole, and you're going to work it in there, and then you're going to come around here and you're going to have to stretch it, and you're going to have to, so it'll catch on the fins, push it in there, and then it'll look just like that. You can see when it comes up, it'll sit perfectly to hold the fan in place, and then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. You want to repeat on the other side the same procedure and then once you have them installed they're going to look just like this. And then now the next step is the easiest of all. You just uh, Now you're going to want to put this fan on after you put the GPU cooler on. You're going to want to put the clips on before. Now on the GPU cooler you might well know you won't be able to with the way it will sit. Because I know it, with the CPU coolers, it's the exact same way. You're going to want to put the clips on first, but then you can't mount the coolers with the fan on. So, uh, just one thing to note there, guys. And that there's nothing wrong with that. So don't think that I'm I'm hounding on that, but that's just something to note when you're installing it. So you have your fan clips here, and then you're going to want to find out which way you're going to orient the fan. And the fan comes with the PWM connector there, which is very nice. And if you do lack PWM connectors on your motherboard, don't worry because it will plug into a it'll plug into a three pin connector as well on the motherboard. Okay, with the clips securely mounted in the fan holes, you're good to go. This fan isn't gonna move. No vibrations. It's going to run nice and smooth. These fans are really good 
Just plug in your uh, power connector there to the PWM on your motherboard, or you can use a 3 pin connector. Either one will work. And that about wraps it up for the installation, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos, please go check out my channel. If you like my videos, please subscribe.